with more than 4 million people living with type 2 diabetes in the UK and one in three of us with raised blood sugar levels that can lead to the disease. What can you do to avoid it or even reverse it? Well, rather than start on medication, Dr Michael Mosley invented the 5-2 diet when he was diagnosed, which not only led to weight loss but a complete reversal of his diagnosis. So could you do the same on a similar diet? Dr Mosley is once again here now. Um, let's talk about your case first of all. Mm. So you went to the doctors with a troublesome, worrying mole that you That's had, right. You? And then they did, um, she did a random blood test and she rang up later to say, the mole is fine, uh, but I'm really sorry, your blood sugars are raised, need further tests. And um, she told me I was type 2 diabetic. Only... So were you overweight? Uh, no, not particularly, not on the outside. If you looked at me, you'd have said I was quite slim, but actually I carried a lot of what's called visceral fat, internal fat. I'm what's called a, or used to be what's called a toffee, thin on the outside, fat inside. Oh. Um, so I was slightly overweight, but the reality is that um, we all have our own personal fat threshold where we kind of tip over into diabetes. We should, before we go any further, and I think anyone who is diabetic, type 1 or type 2, would, would appreciate the very, very clear definition of yes. type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. We're talking about type 2 diabetes, which is lifestyle, on the whole lifestyle-led. Type 1 diabetes, genetic, autoimmune, nothing you can do about that once you've got it. It's daily insulin injections, but that's got nothing to do with lifestyle. Absolutely. They're completely different conditions. Type 1 typically occurs in childhood or when you're young, and type 2 is something which um, tends to develop as you get older, particularly after the age of 50 when rates start to shoot up. Our advice on this changes very frequently at the moment. Actually, one thing you think you're doing right, and then the next thing you're doing right, and then you suddenly find out it's all completely wrong. And you yourself gave your father some poor advice. Yes, but he was a type 2 diabetic, and I was um, urging him on the low-fat diet, which was absolutely what we were taught at medical school to yeah. do. Uh, and unfortunately, it didn't do him much good. And he actually died quite young from the complications of it. Right. And so that's really why when my GP told me, you're a type 2 diabetic, I decided I didn't want to go down that road. So um, what is the answer then? Well, it is weight loss. Uh, and particularly if you can lose the weight around your tummy. Uh, I did it via 5-2. I lost around 10 kilos, around 22 pounds in 12 weeks. Wow. Uh, and uh, that was OK. Uh, but since then, I've come across work done by Professor Roy Taylor at Newcastle University. And what he's shown is that if you lose around 10 to 12 percent of your body weight, which is kind of what I did, uh, then in 87% of people who are newly diagnosed, they can reverse their type 2 diabetes. I don't call it cure, because I suspect if I put on the weight, it would, it come, would back come back again. Yeah. Uh, but the longer you've been diabetic for, the less likely you are, because the more damage you've done to your pancreas and things like that. But that's really encouraging, because, I mean, that's massively encouraging. Yes, yeah. Gosh, so your, uh, your, your diet, I mean, this is no surprise. We've been told this yes. for a long time. You know, so you lead an unhealthy lifestyle, and, uh, and type 2 diabetes is a ticking time bomb. It's going to cost the NHS a fortune as more yeah. and more people put on weight um, and, uh, and are either pre- type 2 diabetic or actually type 2 diabetic. So it's no great surprise. The trouble is, for me, is that there are massively conflicting views yes. constantly in the newspapers. There are. I mean, the diet that um, I've written about in the blood sugar diet is essentially 800 calories for eight weeks. Now, that is a rapid weight loss diet. And on the whole, most dietitians would go, ooh, very bad idea. But actually, we have known for 10 years at least that rapid weight loss is probably the way to go if you actually want to lose weight. What it's happens after that? Completely. I mean... No, absolutely. It is what happens next that is really critical. The great thing about rapid weight loss is it's incredibly encouraging. You stand on the scales, you've gone down another few pounds. Uh, but afterwards is a critical bit, and that's what I've also written about extensively in the book, based on conversations with the world experts, because it's about changing what you eat, so you have to kind of shift to a more Mediterranean-style diet. Right. And you also have to increase your activity, but you also have to manage your stress levels. And for that, what I use is a technique called mindfulness. You can kind of buy an app. Uh, I did a Horizon film about it recently. Mm -hmm. But essentially, it's about just having a period in the day, 10 minutes, where you just kind of relax and you listen to your breath and you don't worry about things. Because and that brings down the stress massively. People overeat because they're stressed. Oh, so absolutely. it's like a, almost like a medicine. They're absolutely. Taking and um, that's a common cause. And the thing they reach for is sugary carbs. Yeah. Because when do you feel stressed? When I feel stressed, what I yeah. want is chocolate. I eat when <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm tired. Well, some chocolate's good for you. Sorry? Some high, high cocoa's uh, yeah, good Yeah, dark chocolate is not what I'm reaching for, unfortunately. What not I'm reaching for is... Yeah. <laughs>